One of the greatest evolutions in real estate in the last decade is the increasing power of the internet. We know that about 90% of home shoppers and those that are getting started in the process look there before even calling an agent. Now, add the increase in popularity of Zillow and their Zestimates, otherwise known as automated valuation method. As real estate agents, we know that the task of pricing a home is a huge job and the motivation of the seller is always a factor. So, along with the condition of a home and the neighborhood, no algorithm can realistically value a home with accuracy sufficient to make a decision to sell or buy without physically seeing the home. Because who knows, is it gonna be next to a garbage dump or is it gonna have a great view? Zilla knows that that's true, hence their disclaimer on the website. Even their research shows that on average, those estimates are within 5% of the actual value here or there, and that's per home, and that's just half the time. Real estate agents often encounter would-be sellers that quote Zillow as if it's written in stone, but it's not. Zillow is a useful tool, and it's one of the top real estate websites on the internet for the number of reasons. They provide excellent data, and that's really helpful to both buyers and sellers. So, if you come across this very much with your clients, I have an article that explains how this algorithm works and why it can be so far off from our local reality. I'm sure you know that the number one reason why homes don't sell or meet the seller's expectation of top price is because of an unrealistic asking price. So it just sits there and actually in languishing, the value goes down. Pricing a home correctly from the beginning is critical even in a seller's market. If you'd like a copy of the article, email, call, we'd be happy to get it to you. And now for minding your own business. So we came across a Realtors open house the other day that was a little unique and I thought it was really clever enough to highlight it here. So she had a package of little green army guys. You know the little army guys that you played with as a kid? Just from the dollar store, it was cheap. She put them all over the house and then she gave every visitor a paper and pen with her logo and number of course so that they could call her back. At the end of the tour, they turned in the total count of army guys that they found the visitor that came the closest won $50 in home improvements, a gift card. While I was there, everyone seemed to be having a great time finding them and probably saw more of the house and stayed longer than they would have otherwise, especially getting the kids involved. Scavenger hunts at open houses aren't a new idea, but this idea was a really uncomplicated, simple, and inexpensive and fun idea. And I thought it was a great way to get everybody engaged. Please feel free to email or call me with any of your best hope and house ideas, and I'd love to share them here. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Have a great week. Let us know if we can answer any of your questions regarding loans, programs, or pre-qualifying your clients. Have a great week.